Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich like me? Well, go over to Messi Modding Services where you can buy GTA 5 modded accounts, GTA 5 money, and rank for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Check their website out in the link below. And if you're having doubts, just look at all these happy customers. Which of his knife is better, Mark 1 or Mark 2? I get this question all the time, and even this guy saying that the Mark 1 is way better. Now, I thought I'd do some research on this topic. So like any normal person, I ignore what people say on Reddit and actually go on to the game. Like this guy said that it had flashes, like that matters. But anyway, this GTA wiki page actually says that the Mark II has more damage. It still can't one shot a person at the chest, but it's like a slight bit more damage and I'll show you in a bit why that's useful. As you can see, his health is pretty much zero, and it only takes one shot from my AR, from no matter what distance it is, to finish him off, whereas sometimes it can be two with the normal heavy sniper. But anyway, some recurring viewers may know that I used to use the Mark 1 all the time, but the main reason for that was because I actually preferred the sound. It wasn't really that much else, but it just felt like I had more confidence when sniping when I heard the sound, because this sound sounds a bit flat. And I'm not the only one that thinks this. You verse this as well. He says in his description that he uses the Mark 1 because he prefers the sound. Some other people also seem to think that the Mark 1 has better accuracy. Both snipers are hitscan, so it just depends on how good your aim is and how how well you can put that little dot on the target. They shoot exactly where you put the put the scope. Now the last thing that some people say is they say that the Mark 1 feels more smooth, feels lighter when sniping. Now I have a feeling this is to do with the sound. It can give like a placebo effect. But anyway, I'm going to test it out anyway, just in case. So I actually recorded a voiceover for this part, but for some reason, it just it just didn't record. So um, I'm going to have to try and figure out what I meant when I was recording this. But anyway, these are the upgrades for the Heavy Sniper Mark 1. You can see it's just got the normal scope and the advanced scope. And you'll see when you upgrade to the Heavy Sniper Mark 2, you get a bunch more upgrades. Now there's magazines where you... This is the extended clip, which has eight rounds instead of the usual six. You can also carry 9,999 bullets. And the other ammo types, they either top off at 80 or in explosive rounds, top off at 40, which isn't very useful for free mode if you main the heavy sniper like I do. Some people also say that the heavy sniper Mark II fires faster or the Mark I fires faster, eat one or the other. But if you check the fire rate, it's just one bar on Heavy Sniper Mark 2. So if we go revert, and you can see it's still one bar with Heavy Sniper Mark 1. Now you might notice that the accuracy on my Heavy Sniper Mark 2, it's not maxed out like it is on the other one, but that's because I've got a thermal scope on. It says the accuracy is not as good, but it just means it doesn't zoom as far. The accuracy is literally the same. But then again, that's another feature that I really like about the Heavy Sniper Mark 2, and which is why I use it, is the fact that you can use a thermal scope. And it saves me from, well, especially on PS4, it saves me from going to menu, selecting the thermal helmet, and turning on the thermal. Because when the draw distance isn't very good, all you can see is the little the little dot. You can't actually see the player. And you can only see that with thermal. So being able to switch like that, it's really useful. Also, there's loads of combinations of liveries, tints. Whereas with Heavy Sniper Mark 1, there's not that many. So it just means that you can customise your sniper to exactly how you like it or how you want it to look. It's just one of those things that just makes me like the Mark 2 even more. Now, even after that, I don't like the sound on the Mark 2 as much as the Mark 1. The Mark 1 just has a nicer sound, in my opinion. But here's a demonstration of the fire rate side by side. Now, people saying that the Mark 1 it moves faster, it's smoother, or something like that. The way that GTA 5 settings work, it's based on, it's got like one setting, like a speed, a certain speed, and that varies based on distance. So the only way your sensitivity can change slightly is if you're not zoomed in as much. So that means if you've got the exact same scope on the Mark 1 and the Mark 2, the sensitivity will feel exactly the same, and it's just the placebo effect of, well, meaning the sniper being smaller, because it looks smaller. So, like, you may be thinking, oh, maybe it's lighter, maybe it'll move faster, but it doesn't actually move any faster or any smoother. It's the exact same. So, here I've done, like, a little list. <coughs> like, why the Mark 1's better and why the Mark 2 is better. Now, 
you're not at a disadvantage really if you can't afford to get the Mark II, and that's probably the main disadvantage of it is that it's more expensive. Like you have to get a terabyte on Avenger or something like that so you can actually get it, and then you've got to do all the research and stuff to unlock the actual like thermal scope and stuff. But after you've done all of that, if you've got enough money, um, I do prefer it, and I would recommend using that over the other one. But I wouldn't go out of my way to like if I like if I wasn't didn't have that much money on GTA, I wouldn't go out of my way just to get the Mark II. But yeah, uh, here's a little Freemo fight that I had with the Mark I and the Mark II. Uh, let me know if this helped. Uh, bye! This is where the thermal comes in handy. I can see him much easier through that gate. <laughs>